Hi friends. How are you? It's been a few days. Say hi when you're hopping on. If you're watching the live, drop a one. If you're watching the replay, drop a two. We'll do a cash giveaway for today's um, live. I'm gonna make some turmeric. The amount of uh, emotions and not necessarily stress, just the amount of things. Um, I'm definitely tumor turmeric ring tonight. Um, turmeric is so good for anti-inflammatory in your body, but this also has magnesium and ashwagandha. <coughs> and if you are ever feeling like your kids are driving you nuts or your day's been hard or long or anything, I am a huge fan of turmeric. So this is from Beautiful You. Uh, just going to put a scoop of this and I already did like a cup of hot water from the Keurig and a little bit of sugar-free vanilla. Okay, so we are in Puerto Rico. We've been here for the summer. Um, I trying to figure out how I like transition into this or what I say or God, I don't know. Do I wait? Do I not? But um, so I'll tell you a little bit about my life. So a few months ago, um, when I got the opportunity to come down here, it's kind of a swift like, hey, we're moving headquarters. If you want to come down to Puerto Rico, we would love you down here kind of thing. And um, obviously we have a life in Tennessee. Uh, I also co-parent in Tennessee. And so we were like, okay, we'll just see if we can make this work. But we are gonna make this the best summer ever, right? Um, hi. What does everybody think? What do you think the what do you think our life's gonna look like? Uh, anybody any guesses? Oh, one for live, two for replays. Um, okay, so I did not mention this because I really honestly figured we would go. Um, you don't get to make the decision just to like move if you co-parent. You um, collectively come to agreements or different things. So. Um, we had mediation and we have gone through all the process and um, we have worked it out that our family is moving to Puerto Rico. Uh, we had our final thing on Friday. I'm going to undo this. Um, and I have been praying all summer, like, if this is supposed to happen, to happen. If it isn't, this has been the best summer. Like, we have literally fallen in love with like the people here the adventures here like how different it is the quality like just i could give you like a million things i didn't know i would love um like about like my schedule how, or just all kinds of stuff, the ocean um so we came up with an agreement where um the, the kids will still be with me uh the life they were and they will still get to see their dad the same amount of days they were seeing prior. He's actually, he's actually going to be coming down here and to see them and it won't change our, like, it just worked. Like, I don't know how else to describe it other than it just worked so that it all worked out. And, um, I get to do my job here. I get to do my job job here. I get to do, um, it's just a really neat, I don't know if you've ever had a moment in your life where you're like, wow, I did not see this coming three months ago. You know what I mean? Like, or ever. I've never, I've lived in the same, like I was born in Chattanooga. I've lived in Chattanooga the last six years. Before that, I was raised 30 miles from there. Like I've never moved really out of where I'm from. And um, I was really nervous. We'd never visited here before coming. <laughs> we kind of just like, uh, and we signed a lease on a house, um, but we didn't know for sure if, you know, okay, they told us they'd be flexible on our lease if we couldn't. And so it just all, like, I don't know if you've ever felt like God opened stores for you and you can just see, like, beautiful things. My kids are ecstatic, um, like, squealing, screaming, um, I mean, I like have fallen in love with this here. Uh, and so, what in the world? Um, so I have been so excited, like literally 
like I've said it probably a hundred times like oh my gosh like I cannot believe we are going to move to Puerto Rico and we knew at the beginning of summer like we packed stuff we've sent stuff here and then we also talked about okay like you know if it didn't work out we would plot it back to Tennessee and we're just gonna because you have to have things when you have kids like you don't get to just move in a suitcase um but we really like just had great work opportunities here and then it turned into like oh my gosh I would be really sad like we go walk on the beach almost every day and like collect sea glass you know and like paint shells and I have no no idea exactly. I need to do my skincare all while we're talking about this or I'm not gonna end up getting that done. I feel like sweaty. So I've been really overwhelmingly excited. I am um, also, I think when you go through something like this, you are excited about the excitement. And then it, my life has been in limbo for months. And like, are we going to, or not? Oh, are we just here? Or are we gonna be back home? Like, it has just been really crazy. My home back home is empty. Like all drawers are empty. We've had um, people cleaning everything out and putting it in storage and different things. Like, because I thought we would get to move, but again, not 100% sure, but we have to rent our house out. So we're gonna go ahead and clear it out as if it's a go, but also being open to if it changes. Um, the kids are so happy and I am so happy. And I guess I just like, I don't know, I'm rambling. Um, I'm really happy they'll still get to have the same amount of time with their dad. That was a big thing, like making sure we can make things work. Uh, again, like you don't, you don't pick that when you, um, when you move and all that worked out. And so it literally is just like, I'm so excited. <laughs> um, so, and I just am happy here. Like my kids are so happy. And um, I'm not naive to, you know, eventually the newness may wear off or whatever, but I really am so happy. Um, so, Q and A's, so many things. So, um, housing, uh, housing here, we are go we're renting, and we will look for a house. Um, we will be renting the Tennessee house, uh, on Airbnb. And so for like, or long-term kind of renting it out for people for like months at a time or whatever, uh, trying to think we're going to work on getting ivory here. That was one of our holdbacks. We're like, okay, we can't ship the dog here if we are going to, um, not be here for sure, right? This is the best stuff. If you've never tried Erase Pre Cleanser, it literally melts your makeup right off your face. It's under twenty dollars. Um, it's from Palmafera, and it literally is amazing. Um, hang on, let me wipe this off, and I'll keep reading. The mug I'm holding is from Home Goods, and they also had a little table stand. Um, and if you know me, or if you've known me for long, I like love things to feel like home. I love for things to feel settled. I love to not be in limbo. <laughs> and so I am super excited for like this next phase where we can start like planting roots and making not just still making memories, but like making um it's just I'm excited to like move forward, I guess. Um I did cry for part of the day today. It is like a lot of emotions to feel very excited about one thing and then also because this has been a well, I have no idea like we're just going through the motions right what is it going to be so I guess today it kind of hit me like oh wow this is permanent right and um so I had like a little bit of a cry sesh for about an hour I just was like so after I laid it, made it down for a nap and I was just by myself and Adam was at like Ace Hardware or somewhere and um he got back and he was like what happened I was like, I'm just sad. And he's like, why? And I was, but I love the house in Tennessee. Um, I was like, I'm never going to get to use the garden. Um, I cried about it. Um, I cried, you know, I feel like someone else will get to. 
and that'll be great. Um, I cried like I didn't tell Watermelon by, which is our like outdoor stray cat. And so I cried about that today. And he was like, do you wanna fly back home and like spend time with the cat? Um, we could fly her here, but she roams on like acreage. And so we're gonna see if we have a, so if anyone's in Tennessee and you want an amazing barn cat that doesn't get into anything, but she will kill chipmunks and mice, heads up. But she like doesn't come in the house. She's so good. If anyone wants watermelon, we don't have somewhere for her yet. Um, we've just had uh, like family feeding animals every day and stuff or staying with them. Um, and I know she would hate it here probably. She would run off or whatever. And so like that was, so it is like um, such a mixed emotion. Like also my kids starting new chapters, they're beyond excited. Um, but then there's also like some, when a friend posts a picture of them with their friends and they're not with them, you know, like navigating. I think there can be like, not necessarily grief that we're moving, but it's kind of like real the reality, um, the reality of things in our life are like changing. Like friends, I won't get to see as much. And um, just, I don't know, that kind of thing. So I don't want you, I don't want to be dishonest. Hang on, my shirt's a little short and this is gonna be a really ugly way to put my shirt up. Um, but overall, I would say I'm overwhelmingly um, happy. And then we just have to figure out the other parts. Like, okay, how do our family come and see us more often? How do we um, work out our schedule of when we go see people we love? Uh, cried, my sister and I have always done trick-or-treating like since our kids were little. So I cried about that today to be like, what am I gonna do for Halloween? Like I go trick or treating with my sister and her kids. And then I was like, well, she can come trick or treat here or I could go back to Tennessee to do that if that's really special to, you know, if that's something that when I'm not feeling like this. Um, but this is a face peeling mask. I've never used it. It's from Olivita. We're gonna put this on. Um, but overall, I am, um, so excited and excited to be able to share with you guys. I hate it being so weird to be like, so I'm not sure what's going on. And truly, really have not known for sure. Like, am I gonna get to do this? And all the things, am I not? Um, I love getting to like work with Jenny almost every day. Like, I just left her house. Um, and I just feel like, you know, when God puts people in your life at certain times, certain moments and things and um I don't know I just am like I feel like I know this is I even felt this before I knew for sure I was going to get to move here I felt like I know this is where I'm supposed to be but I don't know if we can work out all the details you know and the fact that all the details are working out I don't know just know this this is where and so I appreciate um, you guys so much for being like loving and supportive and patient for me to not know <laughs> exactly what my life looks like. Um, and I'm excited to share like the next chapters and then also to share like the feelings of, um, what it's like to move really far from your only home you've ever known area to somewhere else. And so, um, anyways, you're still new. So I got a job opportunity down here working for one of the brands that I work for. They move their headquarters here. And then my husband does investment real estate. And, um, and then we also have, uh, a foundation and we were originally going to do things in Mexico. And, um, that like there, I don't know if you've ever had something happen happen where you're like every single step to doing this is hard, like red flags, um, canceled for different dangerous thing, like all these different things. And we just felt like that I do not, I think what we've put into place, like we've designed websites, we've worked on, um, raising like some of our own funds. We've, um, got other people who are helping with like we still helped with like certain projects. We uh, recently helped 
helped with a couple big projects like on our personal end, but we want to do something really big as far as like community outreach helping. And so this will allow us to be like very hands on um, in some of the areas here. And so I, I don't know how to describe it other than just like, if you've ever had something happen where there were tons of roadblocks and then there's like a pivot with a clear path and you are like, oh, well this makes so much sense. So Adam will be doing mostly like investment real estate stuff, um, like commercial property type things uh, and fundraising stuff, but he will be working a lot with like, um, our foundation and helping people here in the community and then I also think it's gonna be so great for my kids um, so we're really excited like over the next few months of how we can you know it took us a minute to get kind of you have to do things in phases when you have kids so it's like okay we have to get settled we have to get towels we have to get forks cups like I have like three mugs um, we have to get towel like a uh, bedding or a mattress you know all those things and then eventually you're like okay we have what we need now if this is gonna be final now we go full force on we have to find ourselves a house to, to buy and um, so we're not just wasting a ton of money forever on rent and um, and then we want to start on like get back like cherry Yeah, so the schools here are bilingual, and then the school we have the kids on the waiting list for is an English school. Give me a second. Sorry, I'm going to put water on this. Um, and uh, so my kids are already learning a good bit of Spanish. Um, okay, but you just wash it. It says the finely ground olive stone granules from the small black olive gently removes dead skin and creating a smooth skin look without drying out or causing irritation. Um, okay, perfect. So, Camp Swan was finished. Uh, we finished that and it's been open for a little over a year and we already had management in place because it was about an hour from our house. I'm just going over questions. So, if you have questions, um, if they're nice, I will answer. If you're ugly, <laughs> block you. Um, uh, uh, no, I'm kidding. Um, but, or maybe not. Uh, uh, I was worried, like, what if people, you know, like, changes. It's so funny because I've gotten some messages from you guys, not you guys, but some people who watch who were just like, you know, don't you feel guilty for taking your kids from their friends, you know, or different things. And it's like, my kids are really excited to be here. Like, they have made more friends in the last two months. They go with friends. Like, we lived about 30 minutes from their school where we were, and we never left our house. You can ask anyone who knows us. And um, they didn't go do things other than, like, sports. They go and play pickleball. They go, like, boogie boarding. They go looking for sea glass. Tonight they did water painting um, out by the pool. Like, I mean, they are loving it here. And so I feel like part of me is like, okay, do we stay? Where I'm like, but I don't want them to miss out on this. Or do we say, like, you still can go visit and you still can FaceTime, but maybe this is really awesome. And that's what I'm trying, I hope, and they have loved it. So. Um, the summer camp, it's called Camp Salon. If you're ever in between Chattanooga and Nashville, my skin literally feels so soft. Um, if you're ever in between Chattanooga and Nashville, uh, it is a summer camp that we turned into Airbnbs. We still have the same management. They're running it. Um, our other Airbnbs, are you literally got a call today like, hey, we need toothbrushes, a uh, new pillow for this, a new like rug for this. They sent me pictures and I will order it. It will be just like when I was back home. The biggest part I have in that is whenever we um, are designing or renovating or uh, buying a bunch of stuff, um, that's when I'm really hands-on. After that, um, other than every now and then I get to go up there and see people, uh, it's kind of like that isn't my role. So, um, okay, here we go. So smooth. Um, okay, so hi, Lexi Kate. Hi. How's it going? Kids are resolute. 
kids are resilient. Oh. Uh, <laughs> you are good. Um, you're giving your kids the opportunity of a lifetime. Follow along. What do you think about it? Okay, tell them so far how's your Puerto Rican experience been? Live in the paradise, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, live in the paradise, bro. Really. We're so excited. All right, I'll be down in just a few, okay? I'm just going to talk to the vlog. She just messed right to me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Natalie, Natalie uh, yeah, that makes me cry. I literally, that was part of my cry fest earlier today. Um, but... Yeah, because that's oh, sad. Thank you. Because I like watching you go too. I'm just I, I know. Because I love seeing her. And so, but again, I'm like, okay, well, well she, her, be, she can she come to. She'll to work one day, one day a week, anyways. <laughs> well, she so, works from home. So, yeah. exactly. So I'm like, okay, well, I can talk to her on the phone a good bit. I can FaceTime her anytime I want. And then also, she can come visit or I can visit her. So it's just like the coming over. It's like the no really more exciting. mac and cheese in the microwave. <laughs> <laughs> no kidding. Here, let me finish this for real, because that way I can tuck you guys in. Okay. Love you. I love how I make weird faces She's... in front of thousands of people. You do make weird faces in front of thousands of people. <sighs> okay, so we're gonna go in here with the jellyfish pups. You need a hug. Yeah, you can have a hug. Mm. I love you. I love you too. Um. Needs. Uh, yes, where we live, others will go vacation. So one of her best friends and her mom is thinking about coming down next weekend <laughs> before school starts. So people, I do think, will come and visit us. Um, so. Just got on. Natalie will definitely still be helping me. She's not getting rid of me this easy. No. So. All right. Um, okay, jellyfish peptide. So this is the youth ageless sculpting wand. Um, that face mask from all of it is amazing. And then this is. Bye. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> I love you. Um, oh, you can tell them. Come on. So, you guys, before I say bye, I wanted to say something. So, um, sugar. Okay. So, tomorrow I'm going to be starting to do um, no sugar. So, if anyone wants to join me. Yeah, if anyone wants to join Lexi. She's doing fruit. This but, is all on her own idea. Yeah, she's just she's trying fine. to be healthier. She's yeah. cutting out soda. So and cutting she out soda. I'm cutting out Nutella. <laughs> <laughs> That's a like, whole food group. Yeah, but, um, but I can have like natural fruit. Can I sell juice? Yeah, you can have juice. Oh, yeah. but, Anyways. yeah, so that was my thing. So, I love you guys. Bye. All right, so, um, here we go. Okay, so, <laughs> she's such a trip. Somebody else, that's what peer pressure does. Somebody else, one of her friends is like, oh, I'm not doing sugar, I'm doing a no sugar challenge. And she was like, I want to see if I can do it. I was like, well, sh sugar is not really great for you anyways. So, yeah, you want to get... She's like, can we get sugar-free yogurt? And I was like, we can. We can just get no sugar-added yogurt. And so, okay, if you have loose, sagging skin, this has jellyfish peptides in it. It is from Palmafera. It sold out almost immediately. The before and afters are crazy. Who has this? And drop it below how it's been doing for your skin, especially loose skin. Um, it does have a rollerball on it. This is the one for your face and neck. And they just restocked the one for your eyes. And so I will be getting that one. Um, you can buy them together as a pair and save, but specifically it works on tightening skin. So Nutella is gonna be tough for her because it's, she eats strawberries and Nutella at least twice a day. Um, okay, putting that on. So a little bit of, if you're looking for this on Palma Fair's website, it's listed under the Ageless Sculpting Wand. So, oops, I really am so excited, and um, I just needed a little bit of time to, like, process. I feel like when you're going through all of this, it can be it's just, like, I wanted to tell my kids. I wanted to tell my mom. I wanted to tell, like, um, Adam's mom was here when we found out, so we got to talk with her about it and, like, figure out, like, what does our plan with everybody look like? And so I just wanted to do that. 
before and like tell our really close friends because it is a big thing to think like well, I didn't know if you were coming back next month or are you moving for sure you know so we wanted to be sure um, we have uh, we bought a car a couple weeks ago I'm really glad we don't have to sell that uh, rental cars um, getting a little out of hand and so we decided at one point if we put down a certain amount towards a car even if we had to sell it we would have been out more if we'd had the rental car so um so we did that uh i'm gonna go in here this is with um where's my thing hang on this isn't what i was gonna use get rid just a second ignore out of the swim tracks i have And I don't know where it is. Okay, this is an, it's called F59 from Olavita. It is, uh, it works on making the muscles where they don't, they don't move. And really, really helping with deep wrinkles. So putting a corrective face serum on before I go in with my plump and brighten. Hi, Adam Swan. I will still be working with Lange and Ophir. I actually have a Lange live in the morning. Um, so if there's a certain hair tutorial you want to see, let me know. Uh, I have that tomorrow. Where's Lola? She is downstairs making a mansion in roadblocks. Um, she had to clean her room first and they had to put new sheets on their beds. Um, okay, going in with Plump. has hyaluronic acid in it. But she's around. They are uh, making a, a mansion, like a house. It's like a game. And today she said she saved $4 million and she redesigned uh, her mansion. And I was like, oh, live that life, girl, because you will learn as a grown up that it it's not as easy as you made $4 million today. Yes, yeah, so I will still sell Palma Fair skincare. Um, I absolutely love their brand. I've been using it for years. But there were like a few things that I wanted to add in that um, Palma Fera didn't have, like a retinol, um, a certain types of masks that they offer, and um, so there's just a few things. So still loving like Palma Fera is a race. There's just a few things Olavita offers, and it's a, also a waterless makeup or waterless um, skincare all natural, fits European standards, and it's just, that's really good stuff. Okay, last little thing I'm gonna use tonight, unless you're extra dry. So, um, Palmafair Pure Oil, and because we've been down here, my skin is like, um, oh no, that's not, this is the matcha mask, it's sold out right now, but it's really nice. Um, let's see, here we go, it's almost in the same container. So I'm gonna take a little bit of the face cream, just like that. And then I'm gonna mix in a couple drops of the Palmafera Pure Oil, and it just has pure Palmafera. Uh, great for wrinkles. And then this is gonna help with moisture because I've just been getting a little bit of sun exposure, so I'm kinda gonna make like a little salve. I haven't got a chair yet, but now that I know I'm saying I'm getting a chair, and a buying an office chair. A really nice chair. A really nice office chair. Okay, I want you to see when you put that together that um, face cream, it is the FO7 Olive Therapy. It's an anti-aging face cream. And when you mix it with that Palmafera Happy Sap, it gives you almost like the Korean skincare glowy, dewy. It just makes it the most beautiful your skin, and when you wake up in the morning, your skin looks like this. It is incredibly hydrating. And I just mix those two together. And it's like, I'm gonna do a little on my neck because nobody 
well, so that's where you can kind of see your age. So just take a look. Oh, that's a good, well, I think I'll be bouncing my whole life. <laughs> Adam said for me to get rid of a chair and do an exercise uh, ball. Yes, kids are coming with us. Um, really not much is changing except where we are. They're, they're, our co-parenting situation uh, kind of stays the same except here, and it is... The kids are here. The kids are here. They're eating everything. Oh, oh, I thought you were... Here, come this way. What? Here, just don't step on my feet. Please elbow me. Sorry, you're welcome to come in. What? Huh? Sorry, I just needed to step back. That's right. See how everybody's doing. You look beautiful. Oh, like this? Yeah, I like oh, that. Oh, good. That's good. He does. He's always like, it's when you look grungy, you know, like, shirt with stains, and you've been like, <laughs> stain, stain. <laughs> it is. I was wearing that spray tan stained shirt. I'm like, I like you feel <laughs> Yeah. Uh, just the other day, and like <laughs> this, and he's like, you look so cute like that. And I'm like, hmm. I try so hard. The great thing about keeping a towel on your door as you can just reach up and grab it um okay so uh, my shirt's from zara but i don't have a link um okay look at that it has become like oh it's so good to go to bed like this okay last little thing is just this olivita lip mask um i'm out of my palmafera uh happy salve which i really love for all day use. I wouldn't use this all day. This is just really hydrating, really glossy. It is a lip mask and it's good to hydrate, uh, but it could use it as lip gloss too. Uh, but I love the Happy Sap from Palm Fair all day long, but like chapped lips, um, but Veda ate it. So we're smushed it to death we're, and sucked all over it, but no one wants to re-eat what she did. I'll give you a recap of what products I used today. Um, from Palmafera, I used a race pre-cleanser to take off my makeup. I used um, that Ageless Sculpting Wand. This is under the youth section. It's got the jellyfish peptide. Really helps tighten loose skin. Um, you can tell a difference within 15 minutes and then 100% of participants noticed tighter skin and less wrinkles after 30 days. So, um, I was hesitant. I don't ever want to make anything confusing for anyone, but I was just hesitant because there were a few things that I felt like I wanted incorporated in my skincare routine, but I didn't want to make it confusing for you guys. Uh, but I really think that maybe a few of you are the same way. You're like, I love Plump, I love Brighton, I love Pomifera, but I feel like I would need an eye cream, or oh, I didn't do eye cream, or that was one of that's that was like my like sucker in. I was like I need a good eye cream, um, and so okay, so we used Race, I used Ageless Sculpting Wand, I used Plump, which this tightens your pores. Um, it has hyaluronic acid in it. Okay, so those are my main Pomifera things. I do use. The Brighton Serum during the day. It just helps with any sort of redness and everything. Um, from Olivita, which is the new line. Um, oh, and I used the Palmafera Pure Oil mixed in with my, um, the Olivita Moisturizer. Is this confusing? Probably, sorry. If y'all are familiar with Palm Fair, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Adam's like, oh, there's a lot of things. Oh, your hair. That, that's some hair. Did you tell them that we're standing out here for good? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I told them. So yeah, what are your thoughts? Do you want to come share your favorite things about? Shirtless. Oh, they'll love you shirtless. Um, you really will. He's been working out so much. He's in such good shape. It's like these chiseled obliques. Right now, he's going to be modest and put a shirt on because he's taking his shirt off. But. I, uh, yeah. Uh, he does have crazy hair though. My hair's nuts. Your hair's nuts. You might want to side no, spot. Okay, more. he's gonna. Okay, so um, that was what I mixed in the skincare. So your hair looks <laughs> insane. Oh, what kind of. You can make a cartoon character out of that. There is one. What is it? I'm Johnny something. Oh, yeah. I think that's his name. Yeah. You're the anyway. redhead. Um, so you can order Olivita through the link in the description. We're not selling our place in Chattanooga. We're going to put it up for rent, midterm rentals. Yes. So if you want to come down there and throw down for a month, come on. 
<laughs> modestly thrown out. Um, not too wild. I think people will like it. It, it. I love it. You guys need to come to Puerto Rico and visit. If anyone is in Tennessee and you want a barn cat or an outdoor cat, then you have like at least an acre. Because she used to live at South Coast and we didn't have a lot of land. Um, That's right. We are needing someone. We to could. Take on watermelon. Yeah, we could fly her it's down. Just put food out. That's it. And, then, and, and some and water. Then watermelon. I don't know. It's boy or girl. <laughs> really we call think. her a girl, but she could be a boy. She's but fixed. She has a clip she ear. She takes care of all your rodents. And you will never have a mouse. But when I was pregnant, so weird. She would bring me mice and chipmunks on the doormat, and she's only done that when I was pregnant. So I think she thought I was. Um, uh, How was the gym haircut? I don't understand. That. Oh, I told them that you can go get a haircut at the gym. Oh yeah. Part of your membership. No. He hasn't done booked. it. It's booked for like <laughs> months because it's twenty-five bucks a month. Everybody gets their haircut there. It's booked. So in his gym membership down here, you get to tan for free. You get to get a free haircut every month and your gym membership, all for twenty-four dollars. Apparently, all is free bucks. Jimmy Neutron. That's who it is. Jimmy, not Johnny. Jimmy Neutron. Jimmy. Yeah. Neutron. Um. So, anyways. I'm proton. <laughs> no, but we're not. We're. I'm fucking hurt. The um. What did it say? There's. Well, just, it's a lot of comments. We're in Puerto Rico. We're in Puerto Rico. For, have you not gone over any? I've gone over it. They're just new or okay. just hopped on. You don't have to recap all that. No, okay. You're good. He's like, you've been on here for yeah, how long? Yeah. But it's been it's been two months, and it could have been. I think we set our expectations really, really low. We did. Which is a good thing. It's good to go into stuff and be like, hey, we're going to just make the best of it. But it's been up here. I mean, it's it's been, so good. It's been incredible. Yeah, it has been so good. Like we literally love. I'm learning Spanish too, and like the people at the meat store. I don't get out much, so like, <laughs> I but. Like, they gave me a free baguette the other day, and they were, like, fresh out of the oven. Enjoy, familia. Like, they're, they're amazing. just amazing. So sweet. Like, he dropped a bucket and stuff at the store today. People stopped and helped him pick the stuff up. Like, he, we have. Like no, really. oh, sorry. Here, come this way. What? Come, I'm trying to move out of your way. No, no, no. You stay here. I'm coming behind you. Oh. Sorry. I don't even need to be in here. We're not. Yeah, know, so. Out of neutral. Um, <laughs> They are. Does anybody have? Um, okay, so. It's I, coffee. We should do. Uh, hey, they're going to PR in January. Come on, Buffy. <laughs> Bring it. Where you, come on. To we're in Dorado. Yep. Johnny Rocket. We'll I think Johnny Rocket's that. a restaurant. Oh, tell them about what happened with Veda yesterday. Do you have the picture on your phone? So many things. What? Oh. Well, um, it's, so it's see if you have the picture. <laughs> A of what? Of what Veda was um, oh, yeah. saying yesterday. Yeah, so when Veda's in the car, on the car that we got, it ha I'm sure most cars do this now, but that has like a little screen and it shows you what's on your Spotify. And Veda was going, she was for like five, you know, a minute, she's going, Daddy, Daddy, somebody, or Daddy, you're on the, you're on the air, you're on the radio, you're on the radio. I had no idea what she was talking about because Old McDonald was playing. <laughs> and... Eventually, I uh, figured out what she was talking about. I would like go and to another song, and she's like, "No, like, put it on Daddy." What song was playing? And it was this. <laughs> so. Can they see it? Yes, I'm sure. So it's this little red-headed, blue-eyed dude with a hat on and a guitar. Uh, she's anyway, so it was cute. funny. So so cute. Um. So okay. Well, I'm gonna recap all of Vita. You should do that. You should do, yeah. And then I'll recap that and then, um, so fun. Uh, okay, so eye cream done. Check, check, check. Okay, so what I used from Olivita today, um, I used the Olive Tree, it's the Olive Core Face Peeling Mask. It's a gentle exfoliant and it just leaves you really smooth, um, really soft. Like really smooth um, and then I used the anti-wrinkle eye cream and then I mixed the Palmafera pure with this olive core or no with this um, fo7 anti-aging cream so it's a face cream and the two together literally make your skin look stunning so 
that's kind of what I have on my face. And when I wake up in the morning, um, my skin is just different here. Uh, it is just truly, the sun is different on your body. If you could see how burnt I am currently, I'm like, I put on sunscreen yesterday, but not enough. Um, so I just wanted to do like a nighttime routine, drink my turmeric, helps you wind down, helps you calm down if you have nerves. Um, I love if I'm gonna do it in the mornings, I will do it over ice, but I absolutely love the turmeric. If you've not tried it, I wanna say it's like $33 with my code and for a 15 serving supply. I don't drink it every single day, uh, but I do love how I feel, how quickly I go to sleep, how like, if I'm stressed out during the daytime, I'll make it during the day um, and have it over ice. Like it doesn't make you sleepy like melatonin, it just makes you relaxed. And so that's nighttime routine, would be a couple, probably three days a week. I will feel that I need like, oh, I just wanna sleep good. You know, I just wanna like chill out and I just enjoy this. Um, so I'll do that. I'm gonna do this, total hormone balance. Uh, this just helps with your cycle, not being like angry is the only way I can describe it. Um, if you are someone who struggles with like those hot flashes, those like really moody uh, PMS, um, all those things, it's like a natural estrogen stabilizer and it's really great. You can take it any time of day, doesn't matter when. You would also mix it over ice water and it tastes really good that way. If you're trying to get in your extra water, I just have found, I put it on here, I tend to do better taking it at night, but if I think of it in the daytime, I'll take it in the daytime. Okay, turmeric. I saw the comment about it's really spicy, but it's good. I cannot do it on its own. I will either put oat milk with vanilla or sugar-free creamer. So that's why mine looks like this. I did a cup of hot water, and then some sugar-free creamer, like vanilla flavored, a good splash, and then the turmeric. On its own, it burns the back of my throat. With creamer, it tastes like a chai latte, like it's really good. And then if you're ever gonna do it cold, I would recommend putting like oat milk with it, like use a little drink spinner thing. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like a mixer for your drink. It's like a little, not a wire brush, but surely somebody knows what I'm talking about. I can't think of the word. We press the button and it's like, and then you, so you mix it with your oat milk and then you pour that over your ice and it mixes really well that way. It's really good. Um, and the probiotic, because probiotics are good at keeping you from having yeast infections. Probiotics are good for healing gut health. Um, my kids take probiotics, I take probiotics. These probiotics are not disgusting. They taste like a peach ring from a gas station. My fingers are slippery. You could mix this with your trim fit, but it tastes like a pixie stick and I kind of like it. So with the beautiful U brand, um, if you use my code Courtney Swan, you save 15%. And if you do a subscription that you can pause it whenever you need to, but I love getting it on subscription because I forget to reorder until I'm out of something, which is why I have no revive right now. So I love that. Um, but you get an extra 10% every month as well. So you end up with 25% off if you use every month, if you use my code and get the subscription. So, ooh, Carrie says she mixes the turmeric in her coffee. It's so good, helps so much with the pain. You ran out, <laughs> so sad, but blown away on how much it helps. So a whisker frother, that's what it is, a frother. Thank you. Um, so turmeric is really good for inflammation uh, of the joints, of uh, if you've got like little flare ups, like the other day when my knee was bothering me really bad, I drank that because I was like, okay, I'm gonna try and help with like internal inflammation. So um, when you start out with Olivita, what would I suggest? There's actually a skincare quiz that you can take and you can put in all of your, um, if you go to CourtneySwan.com and click Olivita, it's there, or the link in the description of the video, it's there. And um, it, it'll just go over a quiz for what your skin problems are, or if you need help, you can send me a message, but it's normally more accurate if 
the quiz is just smarter than I am. Um, because if I have very different skin type than you, it's hard for me to recommend you need this, this, this. I will say I love Olivita for a lot of the same reasons I love Palmafera. They both fit European standards. They both are pure ingredients. They um, both have a, they're waterless. So they're very concentrated. So I feel like the results you see with their products are really good. I just wanted like a little more glowy and the Olivita has the hydroxytyrosol. It really helps with like a lot of the things that I love the Palma Fair Pure does, but I just wanted to kind of like, I don't know, kick it up a notch. Not to say one is better than the other. You can, everyone's skin is so different. Um, but this is what I'm finding that like I, I am loving uh, and so I just like to share hey I added this and this I know for some people's budget um, you may only want one thing right and it might be for you you decide what that is based on your skincare needs it might be the jellyfish peptide if sagging skin is your biggest concern it might be um, you know an eye cream if puffiness on your eyes is a big deal like so if you do need help you can always message me um, Kim, yes, we're moving here permanently. So, um, we're going to go Wednesday. We went house hunting a few weeks ago, but it was more of a house area hunt. I don't know if that makes sense. It was to see different communities. You can't go in the communities unless you have a realtor. And so we went community hunting the other day with a realtor to decide which community we would want to be in like do we want to be a little further away do like closer into town but further from the beach do we want to be closer to the beach do we want to be uh how far am i going to be from headquarters how far like from the kids school if they get into the private school like all the different things and so do we want like a fancier neighborhood but a much smaller house do we not care if it's a fancier neighborhood, but we want a bigger yard and a bigger house. Like what makes sense for, because we have four children, what makes sense for our family? And so that's what we did. So I think we've narrowed down what community that we really like. And there are, how many houses are in that community? Which one? I don't want to say. Oh, uh, the one we looked at the house that they gutted and I loved it. Probably, if I had to guess, 50. For sale? Oh, for sale? I was like, what? So there's about 50 houses in the neighborhood. There's about five for sale. One of the houses is off market, but going to be on, and they have gutted the whole house. And it's at the bones phase. Like it has no windows. It has no bathrooms. And if you know anything about me, like I love that. Uh, because a lot of the houses, they'll do like a redo and it'll look like this, you know, because that's where we are. So I would love if we could get a house that was like at more of a bones phase. And I could pick out like what windows or arches or um, chandeliers and what type of cabinets, what countertops. And so we are going to talk with those people. It is definitely under construction. Um, so it would be like moving ready, but we have this house on lease for like, what, 10 more months. And so if we could go ahead and get something in the works there we could help pick out the final things and then by the time this is up we might have somewhere like to move into um so but we're going to look at all of the houses that are for sale in that neighborhood on wednesday so um anyways i just am so excited i i just I don't know. I have no idea exactly 100% how what life is going to bring, but I'm so pumped about what is happening in our lives right now. Our kids are so excited. Uh, Christian loves it here. <laughs> um, he is so good to like strike up conversation at the beach, like play like beach ball pong with people and uh, kids his age and boogie board and uh, like. Tonight he was begging, like, please take us to the jungle again. Uh, and a group of us are all going to go out snorkeling. Like, it's just a lot of really exciting things. Um, Buffy, I did not know your husband is an architect. That's amazing. Um, so, yeah. So that's kind of like, uh, that's our life right now. And I'm so excited to share it with y'all. So, 
Um, anyways, Puerto Rico has been good to us so far and we're excited. And this is our, um, like yesterday was our first full day to be like, we live here now. Like we are not, and then today was my meltdown day to be like, I'm not going to garden in Tennessee and I want to see my cat. Um, and you know, but a bittersweet, not necessarily end, but sometimes like chapters just change and I am confident we are going to make the absolute most of of this chapter and I'm really excited about it. So, um, and I'll share with you guys along the way what we find and what we do and what happens and keep you posted. But anywho, um, all right friends, I'm gonna drink my turmeric. I'm gonna get my cozy clothes. Um, have some cute jammies that I'm gonna put on. They're sold out or I'd link them, but they're pink lily, but um, they're cute. I love the bow trend and they're just adorable. I wish they made more of them. Uh, if you have any questions about skincare, I linked Pomifera in the description of the video. I linked Olivita in the description of the video. I linked Beautiful You, but if you, I linked my Amazon storefront if you need like clean cloths or something. I don't know. Well, you know, whatever. Um, how does our family feel about it? I think everyone is like, for the most part, pretty excited for us. My mom lived um, in Hawaii and at the beach for years. Um, they moved down there when I was 17. And so if she could move to the beach tomorrow, she would. She like loves how she feels at the ocean. Uh, my dad still lives in Hawaii. And then um, I talk to my mom on the phone a lot, but I don't see her in person often, like a few times a year. And so it doesn't significantly impact because she could come down here and see me and I could still FaceTime her. And so I don't see her um, a whole lot. We do see Adam's mom a lot. And so, but she's came down here now a couple times. She'll continue to come here and then we'll still go back up there and see her. And um, we will miss, I, I think that's the hard part. We're really excited about this part. We'll also miss like the great people that we love back there, but it doesn't mean that we don't ever get to see them again, you know? Um, for us to fly from here to Atlanta is about a three hour um, direct flight and then uh, like a couple hour drive. So, um, or you could fly straight in from Atlanta to Chattanooga, you know, depending on uh, if you wanna do that. We just have a lot of kids, so typically we do it to Atlanta and then drive because of just plane ticket prices. But, um, so it's not like, if we need to, like, and they need me, I'll hop up and see them, you know? But, um, but I think overall, they're all really excited. So, I would love if Adam's mom would move down here. We tried to convince her um, this, this weekend. <laughs> uh, all this week, we were like, oh, we would love. Um, and at some point, who knows? I don't know if she ever will, but um, we, we would love it. She's here, welcome arms here, if so. Um, so, anyways, yes, Jessica said she just moved too and changes sometimes for the better. Prayers for your future. Thank you so much. So, anyways, all right, I think that was the recap. If you missed any of it, you can go back and watch from the beginning. Thanks for doing skincare with me. I don't know if you can tell on camera how soft and hydrated and glowy my skin feels but it is so so hydrated it's like super plump which is great um okay y'all hope you have a good night bye guys